The Schlumberger collection comprises an extraordinary array of paintings, sculptures, works on paper that narrate a critical history of art during the 20th century. These extraordinary works represent this critical shift where the movements of Cubism and Surrealism from one side of the Atlantic in Paris and France transferred to America to color field abstraction, abstract expressionism, and beyond that, pop art. Among the most important paintings in this collection is Mark Rothko's masterpiece, number 21, Red, Brown, Black and Orange. 1951 was a critical moment in his career, defining what he would go on to do for the next almost 20 years of his life. You are totally drawn into this painting through this intense black framing device. The contrast between the pinks, the reds, the oranges, which is so intensely luminous, it creates this incredible aura of sunrise and sunset, which was a phenomenon that Roscoe is so fascinated by. I don't think there's anywhere else in the whole of Rothko's corpus where you see such a dramatic use of light and dark in a single canvas. Salvador Dali's 1930 painting, La Femme Poisson, is a perfect manifestation of the surrealist imagery that we know and love Dali's work for. You have a red high-heeled shoe hovering in the top left corner. You have this disconcerting memory of time functioning like a vanitas in the clock face in the middle of the composition on top of a female profile composed of fish forms. It really is everything that describes Dali's paranoid-like delusions and this sense of dislocation. Picasso's Les Enfants from 1956. This is an incredibly intimate and personal portrayal of his two young children. His primary interest was really in a graphic linearity. You can see that coming together in a mature aesthetic using bold color and distinctive pattern to organize his composition. Ad Reinhardt's abstract painting Blue from 1953. It's really structured around this architectural grid of rectilinear planes. As your eyes drawn into the painting, you perceive these different zones of color, all competing and vying for your attention simultaneously. Jean de Buffet's Cité Pantoche of 1963 encapsulates all of his vivacious energy and love for life. Adolf Gottlieb's 1962 and 1965 painting, Red and Blue, it has a very beautiful pale pink background, which really sets off this bright red circle towards the top and this very beautiful dark blue burst towards the bottom. The Handshake and the Fishtail by Alexander Calder is one of his most beautiful mobiles. The stunning forms really show his interest in abstraction and the natural world, and the way that they balance and play out in three-dimensional space is really this new art form that has become totally synonymous with his name. Considered together, the works of the Schlumberger collection reveal narratives and dialogues across decades and across continents. Something about the play of ideas between the works affects us very powerfully. <laughs>